welcome back to Games of Hayden. Today I'm going to share another really cool game that everyone's going to like. It reminds me of Indiana Jones. The Adventures. It's a really cool game. It's got some cool people in it. And I really like some the pieces. It's just so awesome. Let's take a look at what's inside. is quite a heavy. So inside the box you get um, an instruction book. Get, um, a nice board. You get some character cards. You get uh, a boulder that crushes people. Some dice. Some more of that smash people. There's actually two of them. This one's kind of hard. Two ones that smash people. You get a brookery bridge that falls apart. You get um, some tiles. You get little figures. You get some cards. And that's all for that. And my dad got an expansion for this. It's painted people. So it's got all the it's got the all the guys but as you can see they're painted. So they're all different. Let's see how the game is played. As you can see I've got the board set up. The board on the board there's a whole temple that the adventurers have to race through and get race through and get to the end. By not getting squished. Let's talk about the, uh, the parts of the game. Here's the first place we're going to talk about. The walls room. The adventurers need to walk in by not getting crushed. And there's some treasure in, the, in there that, that can be found. Let's talk about the treasures. When the adventurer is in the wall room, he can either decide to take a look at one of the traps. Or he can get a treasure. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at other parts of the area. Next place is the boulder corridor. In this place, you better run or the boulder will crush you. Let's talk about an, a different place on, about the, on the board. Next part where the adventures comes to is the lava pit. But be careful, there's four traps we saw, like this one. And if the, this one matches one of those, so if my guy steps on there, he dies and shrinks into the lava. Let's talk about the other parts of the game. Next part is the river. The adventurer can decide to swim for it. But watch out for the waterfall. It's bad. And let's talk about one last part of the game. Next part is the rickety bridge. The adventurer can decide to cross it but if he has too much treasures the plank falls apart now let's talk about gameplay here's how you play the game first off the the characters have character cards let's take a closer look up on the character cards these cards show my load action if i have zero to three treasures I have a low level of two. If I have four to six treasures, I have a low number of three, and so on. Now I roll the dice. <gasps> Give it a big blow. <sighs> now we look at the dice and see what is the same low level, if it's the same number on my low level, or if it's greater than my low level. So my figure gets to do four spots. One, two, three, four. After everyone has moved, we check to see if the walls move. Walls move. <laughs> Beep. And yes. Now let's roll to see if the boulder moves. If the tower is in three, greater than three, 
the ball moves a spot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Quick cool reminder, you can search on the board anywhere for treasure. That's how you play the adventures. Try to get around the board with the most gold. I mean, uh, jewels. Let me tell you how you think of the game. This game is really cool. It's really awesome. I like the paintings on the wall. It's so great on those lines and stuff. It's really cool. And I didn't even know how they made a boulder. It's so awesome. I think that'll take a lot of work on this game. It's just so, so awesome. And if you really like Indiana, your whole family does, this is one of the games you should buy. So check us out at www.gamesofhain.com. Till next time, I'm Hain Teacher.